Hi, this is video number two in my series about prostate cancer. Uh, if you missed the first one, I'm going to be going in. I was going to say tomorrow feels like tonight because actually we have to leave it at four something in the morning to get to the, uh, the hospital at 520 for check-in and at 730 the operation starts. It's a radical prostatectomy and it normally runs about three hours or so. Uh, there, I've spoken to some other people who've gone through the procedure and you know sometimes they run into problems or things come up and I know one gentleman and his went about six hours. Uh, I'm as pre prepared as I could be. Uh, I don't believe in taking anxiety drugs or anything and I did have a couple of bouts of anxiety uh, needless to say, it took me about a little over two months waiting for this appointment and uh, during that time I read up a lot about uh, this type of cancer, the treatment and everything else and uh, I made my decision that the uh, radical robotic prostatectomy was the best way for me personally to go. Obviously it's not going to be for everybody and that's why there are a number of treatments that are offered. Uh, my hope in making this series of videos is that other people can pick up some knowledge from it and hopefully help them out in the same situation. Uh, one kind of coincidental thing that happened today is about noon I got an email from my brother saying that uh, there was just an announcement and the FDA had approved a prostate cancer vaccine. Uh, and that sounded great to me. I was ready to call off the surgery for tomorrow and then I did some more research and looked it up on the internet and found out it's basically for more advanced prostate cancer, actually the cancer that has already escaped from the prostate and uh, that's what this is made for. I understand it's going to be extremely expensive and uh, what I read at, uh, today was that the average life extension in the group that they tested uh, with the drug or vaccine from the placebo group was only about four and a half months. So uh, the bottom line to me, uh, I thought it might be a last minute reprieve so to speak and it turned out that it's not because it, it's not going to benefit me but hopefully it may benefit people in the future because uh, it looks like the research is being done and maybe the next va vaccine that they make will be something to treat the cancer while it's still in the prostate and maybe thereby avoiding any surgery whatsoever. So that's about all I have for, uh, for today and hopefully the next couple of uh, videos that you see will be uh, uh, after my procedure is finished and uh, what happened during the procedure.